what is going on everybody this is iapplegeek3 and in this video I'm bringing you guys an updated guide on how to get battery percentage on your iPod touch without jailbreaking now towards the end of this video I will be mentioning a lot of troubleshooting steps plus uh, why the battery percentage actually does tend to jump around and isn't entirely accurate now before we do get started I did want to mention that I will be using my iPod touch 6th generation in this video running iOS 9 so first things you must do before you actually perform this process is go ahead and go to settings on your device scroll down a little bit till you see the iCloud section right down here and once you're in the iCloud section go ahead and scroll all the way down until you see find my iPod touch go ahead and switch this off you will not want this on if you are on iOS 6 and below you will not have to worry about this but if you're on iOS 7 8 or 9 you will need to have this option turned off so once you have that turned off let's go ahead and just head to the computer and for this to work entirely, you will need to install iTunes. I already have iTunes installed, so let me go ahead and pull it up. And you will need to go to your device section right here. Go ahead and select this computer on the automatically backup section and go to backup now. Go ahead and click on this. I have already done this, so I don't need to do it again. But once you've went ahead and back up your device, you are good to go. So go ahead and close out of iTunes on your computer. And once you've done that, go ahead and download a program called iBackupBot, as you guys can see right here. I will have links for that in the description. Be sure to click on the link that is specified for your computer, either Mac or Windows computer. So once you do have iBackupBot installed and your device is backed up to iTunes, go ahead and connect your device to your computer with a USB cable and go ahead and open up iBackupBot. So once you're in here, you should see your device right here and go ahead and click on the section right below it called System Files. And in the search bar up here, you want to type in comm.apple.sp. And if you typed it incorrectly, you should see something to this effect with comm.apple.springboard. Dot P list. As you guys can see right here, there are two of these files. Which one do I click on? Always choose the one that has a larger size. As you guys can see here, that is 7.5 kilobytes versus just 507 bytes. So you want to open up the larger springboard.plist. So once you found that, go ahead and double click on it and open it up. Upon double clicking, it will ask you to buy the program. Go ahead and just hit cancel right here so that way you do not want to buy that program. Once this window is open, you want to go ahead and paste in this code into that window. I will have a link for this code in the description. That way you can just copy and paste it in here. So go ahead and just hit enter on the line entitled DICT and make a new line. And up here, you want to click this little yellow button here. That is the paste button. Go ahead and make everything line up like so and there we go so once you have everything lightened up go ahead and hit this save button up at the corner right here and go ahead and click the red exit button and once you've done that go ahead and select that file that you just modified as you guys can see here 7.5 kilobytes hit this restore button in this window and once you've done that this pop-up should show up just go ahead and leave these options at default and hit OK as you guys can see here on the uh, I back a bot, it does say restore completed and my device is rebooting. And while this is loading, I did want to mention that if you guys do fail the first time, don't worry, just go ahead and restart it. It'll be fine. Your device will not be harmed at all. And also, if restarting doesn't help, you know, unplug your device, replug it, and reboot your device. Also, reboot your computer and check if your Apple drivers are installed. If you're on a Windows computer, you know, reinstall iTunes or I back a bot and maybe try another computer if this does fail. Also, I did want to mention that the battery percentage will not be 100% accurate because the iPod does not have the physical hardware to accurately detect the battery level, unlike iPhones and iPads. Alright, as soon as your device boots up, you can probably notice that there is now a battery percentage in your status bar. So guys, that is how you get battery percentage on an iPod Touch. Remember to use that specific code. I will have that in the description again. If you do not use that specific code, this process will not work. And if you guys do want to revert this process, go ahead and just go into the same file that you modified and find the string of code. I believe it's under SBS. So go, go ahead and look for SBS. And there it is, SBS show battery level and SBS show battery percentage. Go ahead and delete that if you want to remove it. 
Anyways, guys, that is it for this video. I hope you guys did enjoy it. And if you guys have any questions or if you guys run into any trouble, be sure to comment down below. And if this video helped you in any way, shape, or form, don't forget to leave a like. If we can reach 10 likes on this video, that would be awesome. And if this is the first video you've seen by me, please do consider subscribing as you will be notified of any of my new uploads. Anyways, guys, until next time, peace. Oh, nether dragon? Leave me alone. Mm. Oh. oh my goodness. What do you want from me, dragon? This guy is mean.